Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lernard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be dissertating and talking about the sun transiting the 10th house in a natal chart. On average, uh, the sun spends approximately 30 days in a house. The sun moves approximately one degree per day, and the average house size is about 30 degrees. However, if your house is a little bit smaller, than 30 degrees, say 25 degrees, then the duration of time that the sun will spend in it will be approximately 25 days. However, let's say it's a little bit larger at 35 degrees. The sun would traverse the 10th house in about 35 days. So anyway, the thing about this is at this point in time when the sun transits uh, the 10th house, this could be uh, very important uh, for you as far as career matters go, your livelihood, your reputation, your standing in your community, these things may figure more prominently on average for you uh, than, ordinary, than they would ordinarily. Even if you're a rather introverted and introspective person, this could be that time where you really want to stand out. This is a period where you generally don't want to be that shrinking violet, so to speak, and, and you don't want to kind of stay on the sidelines. You want to be able to be seen, and a lot of it can be connected with career uh, matters and even if you're not seeking it you may inadvertently or unwittingly come across some notoriety and, and perhaps greater popularity in your in during this period there might be more recognition uh, than usual status could be a lot more important than what it generally would be for you this could be a time where career matters can take uh, precedence now the sun when it transits a house that's that area where a person often wants to shine so this is the time where you may really want to shine in your career and it might be a period where you deal more uh, with people of authority supervisors during this period the father or dominant parent might play a more pivotal role in this particular uh, point in time there might be more dealings and interaction uh, with this person now this could be a period where also possible increased involvement with the government could, could be possible here. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to uh, get into some high political ranking or something like that, although in some isolated cases, it could indicate some kind of greater position with the government or, or a new position with uh, government or government-related position. It could indicate somebody getting a government job. I mean, a postal job, I believe, is connected with the government. Or you might be involved more with something that's government-related, like something applying for something that, that provide where there's government assistance involved. I mean, Social Security disability is connected with the government. So that's another uh, example. But it does... but but I, don't, I think in most cases, it does, it's not going to mean that you're going to be, uh, you're going to become some prominent politician or something like that. Although, if you already are in a position with the government, then it could indicate you might go to another level or higher ranking and, and be dealing more with people in that capacity in the government. So, with politics, for example. So, anyway, uh, also it could indicate, now, if this, if the sun in the transit uh, has makes a number of adverse or negative aspects to your natal uh, planets during this point. Uh, the thing about it is it, it could indicate a period or a time or at some point where the character reputation could be besmirched in some isolated cases. The thing about this is that you may, um, since the sun is where we want to shine in the 10th house is the career, uh, you may be something where you, you want to stand out in your livelihood, or it can be, or maybe you take on a little bit more of a leadership position, even if you're not necessarily promoted to leadership position at your current occupation. In your career, you might take on some leadership attributes and more ability as a leader by showing maybe some other people uh, some of the things that as far as maybe, for example, maybe training some people in very Various, uh, aspects of, of the job so that is something to consider when you have the Sun transiting the 10th house in a natal chart you may be seeking also 
uh, accolades and recognition and approbation for what you do. You might really be seeking strong praise during this period in your career. The standing in the community can be of more significance at this time and really uh, can maybe be, a, can in some cases, be a focal point. And if you like, for example, if you didn't have, like, say, a neighborhood watch community, it might be a period you'd be more inclined in this period to step up and maybe initiate something like that and be that leader that starts uh, that kind of group. So, and, and really, it's about standing out, really standing out, and a lot of times in general, I think, when you have the sun transiting the 10th house uh, in your natal chart. And also look at the position of the sun when it is transiting your 10th house. Say, for example, if the sun uh, is in Sagittarius for either most or all the period that it's transiting your 10th house, this could be that time where you're pursuing matters connected with career and, and reputation, standing in the community, dealing with authority figures, perhaps with a lot of expansiveness, a lot of exuberance, and a lot of positive energy and enthusiasm. And it could indicate something in the career that might uh, be maybe sports related. You might, maybe you've got some aspiration connected with it that would be something Sagittarius like such as sports related or something connected with philosophy or, or teaching or something that might uh, maybe maybe um, another example like not just sports but something with uh, maybe even theology or uh, or something like a, in teaching in a college for example could be uh, some examples as far as um, Sagittarius goes now let's say that uh, another example of the sun was in Virgo for either the majority or all the period that it was transiting your 10th house, this could be a time where you might be more punctilious with details and career related uh, matters. And it could be something where maybe you get some position like in a Virgo-like field, such as something with, with analytics, something like a data analyst, for example, or statistician, something where details figure prominently. And it could just simply indicate, like say if it was in Virgo, like I stated before, in Virgo for majority or all of the period it was in the 10th house, it could indicate just showing uh, a lot of being very industrious and working and really emphasizing the, the work ethic, so to speak. So another uh, thing to look at, too, is if look and see also in this trend, the sun transiting the 10th house, what aspects it makes to your natal planets during this point in time. Now, let's say, for example, if the sun is making a uh, your transit sun in the 10th house, is making a square or in conjunct or opposition to your, say, your natal uh, Neptune. It could indicate that it, when for that short period that it hits it, it could indicate that the, your energy, maybe what you're doing in connection with the career and reputation, et cetera, might be, could be a little bit dissipated at this point, And it could have shown that maybe it might have been due to overdoing it, for example, and, and maybe leaving you feeling a little bit zapped and also be wary perhaps of maybe duplicitous or deceptive behavior by others may be connected with your uh, as far as matters with that 10th house goes. Now also another example would be let's say that if the transiting sun in the 10th house let's say it makes a sextile or trine to your natal Mars in your natal chart for, for that short period where it makes that aspect it could indicate a lot of positive, aggressive, action-oriented energy uh, matters connected with that career and that livelihood and in, in doing those doing those things connected with the sun transiting uh, the 10th house. And, and without coming, and it could be done without coming across as being overly pushy or forceful. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the sun transiting the 10th house in a natal chart and stay tuned next time where i'll be dissertating and talking about the sun transiting the 11th house in a natal chart two things i want to get with you on before i head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone, because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.